Hey everybody, this is Gurlal. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about on how you could do the backup for your EC2 instance and restore. In this video, I'm going to explore two methods. The first one is using AMI, and then the second one is uh, using AWS Backup to backup your EC2 instance. Let's begin. All right, so make sure you logged into your AWS console and go to, to, go to EC2 services. And go to the instances and select the instance that you need to back up. It's always a good idea to do a stop on the instance that you're going to back up, so I'm going to quickly do that. Refresh here, it is stopping. It'll take another 20 seconds before it changes the state from stopping to stopped. One more refresh. I'm gonna pause the video uh, and uh, come back. All right, it's been almost a minute. I'm going to refresh that my instance has been fully stopped. So let's create an AMI image of this instance. So select the instance, go to action, select image and templates, and from there create image. Uh, you could name the image that you like. I'm going to call it EC2 backup. And it's always a good idea to um, add a tag to so that's easier for you to kind of find so let's name this and uh, click create so do you, you do have an option to um, delete this on when this your existing instance get terminated i'm just going to leave this option default and click create image um, the AMI ID will prompt it up on the top of the screen, so you just click on it and you'll see here that uh, your AMI image is in the process of being created. So uh, currently it's at the pending state. It may take a minute or two before uh, it becomes available. So I'm again, I'm going to pause the video and resume once the AMI image is available. So I just refreshed it uh, and uh, the AMI image is available. So essentially my backup for my instance has been completed. So let's find a way how you could restore your instance from this backup. So make sure uh, you're in the, you have the AMI selected that you just created off your instance. Go to your storage, click on the snapshot. Um, it should be under storage tab. Uh, once you click on the snapshot it's going to take you to a new tab so we are going to create a volume out of the snapshot so so to do that click on the action create a volume from snapshot leave the options default unless you want to change uh, the size of the new volume that we will attach to the instance one thing to keep in mind while you're creating the volume is that make sure that availability zone is same as where your instance is most of the time if ami image is created off the instance uh, it's just usually the same so it just it might not be a bad idea to verify so in my case my instance is in us east a1 and my volume is going to get created in us east a1 too uh, it's always a good idea to add a tag i'm going to do that and uh, add the value ec2 backup create volume um, click on this volume and uh, the status is available uh, usually if the volume is big in size you may see this as something saying creating volume um, so yeah so um, we have created a volume out of our backup that we created so let's go back to the instance and restore to um, restore it essentially so what th we are going to essentially replace the root volumes here uh, gonna remove the existing volume that is attached to the ec2 instance and attach the new one that we just created let's quickly remove the one it is attached so select the instance go to the storage tab select on the volume that is attached to it it's already selected uh, select it again and select action and click detach volume I just want to quickly point out that if you try to detach a volume while EC2 instance is running it may not work since it's a vol root volume so you need to have instance in stop state to detach volume so I'm going to detach a volume 
uh, so it's all done so it becomes so it's going to quickly refresh the status has changed from in use to available so this volume is currently which was attached to the ec2 instance is no longer no longer attached to uh, our instance so new volume that we just created uh, here uh, i'm going to click action attach volume it's going to give me an option which instance i want to uh, select it and device name is something for the Linux as is suggested in down here as the SDA one um, so that's what I'm gonna name my device name so keep in mind that if, if it's a data volume uh, you know that the, the device name may vary if it, even if it's window it will uh, it will be a little different too so I'm gonna attach the volume and that's it uh, I'm going to uh, start my instance now and wait for it to come back and I will access my instance as I usually would so I just restored um, um, my instance um, from the backup okay so now we're going to look into a next solution uh, on how to back up your EC2 instance and restore using AWS backup so to do that um, it's again it's a good practice to uh, stop your instance before taking a backup so that the, the backup is constant consistent when you restore it so I'm going to stop it again and uh, look for AWS backup open that service go to your backup vault uh, you can create a new one or select the default one so I'm gonna select the default one and uh, in, the, in here under recovery points there's an option to create on-demand backup so click create on-demand backup uh, I'm going to select the resource type EC2 instance and it's gonna prompt me to select an instance so this is my instance that I want to back up and asking me when do you want to back up I want to back up right now so retention periods so is always I always put it in uh, the time based on our needs so in this case I'm just gonna put it in one just in case if I forget to delete this so it'll it just kind of clear it after a day so the backup vault we're gonna leave it default I am role default uh, and click on create on-demand backup so you'll see this is the job it's running so this this is going to take a little bit time here so i'm going to pause my video and uh, resume when this job is done okay so i just refreshed it and my job is completed so essentially the backup for, of my ec2 instance has completed um, and uh, so now let's look into the ways on how i could restore from the backup i just created so again go to backup walls click on default vault and in here you will see um, recovery points so you know you'll uh, so this is where you will see that the, the one we just created so I'm gonna select this one take it create an action click on sorry action and click restore um, and this is this is this is a little different on how AWS backup work and uh, this is going to create a new instance for you um, unlike our previous way where we attach and uh, deattach the ex old volume of the EC2 instance but in this case uh, AWS backup is going to restore into a new EC2 instance which would be pretty much similar um, but the drawback of is that your new instance is going to have a new instance ID like new IP address like all those obvious things so you do have an option to change if you like to change the type of the EC2 instance but I'm gonna leave it default and restore backup so this restore process does take a little longer too so again I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back once it's completed so I just refreshed it and I noticed that my restore job has completed so we're going to go to EC2 console and refresh this one so as you see uh, currently I only have one instance but since I just performed the restore job you'll see the second instance has prompted up so that will have um, you know the volume attached that will have the same data that um, my previous EC2 instance has that the one is in the stop state so essentially um, this is how you do the backup of your EC2 instance using AWS backup and this is all and uh, this is all I wanted to show you guys uh
thank you for watching my video uh, if you liked it um, please consider subscribing and uh, if you want me to cover any particular topics uh, please comment below and i'll uh, try my best to cover them